people have the, the uh, freedom to leave reviews as to how they view the customer service occurring in this certain establishment that Hamza is affiliated with. A concerning trend I'm seeing is that there's a large number of particularly Mu'min females and their little kids who are being harassed when they go to this certain store that Hamza is affiliated with. They're complaining that one, the customer service is bad. Two, somebody was working there who wore glasses and had a beard. And three, he keeps yelling at children, including those that are unfortunately not fully able to. He yells at them to shut up. They can't touch anything in his store. They can't try out any of the certain head dressings that he is selling for the Mu'minun ladies. And if they go to any other store to buy this certain headdressing and the Mu'minun lady comes into his store wearing that certain headdressing from the other store, Hamza then begins to disparage the other store. One review says that he said, oh, that's a Hindu store. I'm sorry, Hindus cannot sell headdressings? I simply want to know, why is uh, Mu'minun over there, sorry, Mu'minun over there, harassing Mu'minun ladies and their little kids? Would he do the same thing to a man? I haven't seen any man yet leave a review on, on the site claiming that they had a bad experience. So it appears that Hamza is not only a fake Mu'minun, but actually he is doing horrible things to Mu'minun ladies and Mu'minun children, including those that are not fully abled. Hamza, I would like it at some point if you could please respond to the idea that you appear to be a horrible person and potentially you are espousing some level of misogyny. Not to just regular women, to the Mu'minun ladies. Why? I wouldn't do that. So why are you doing it? I would like answers, Hamza, to why these bad reviews exist on the certain shop that you're affiliated with. That's all. Hamza, I'm seeing you yelling a lot, Hamza. So, Hamza, if you want to be theatrical, I can be even more theatrical. Okay, thank you. All right. But uh, pardon me, pardon me. If, if, if I may, pardon me, pardon, pardon me. Okay. Hamza. So, everybody, Hamza's asking a question. Christians, which I am I'm one of. Atheist. Uh, atheist. Okay, fair enough. Agnostic. Uh, uh, fair enough. He's saying, Christians, why do you trust Paul? Everybody. I am happy to provide the reasons why I personally and why Christians throughout the centuries, even millennia, thousand years, have trusted Paul. However, I also want to poke at Hamza. I want to know today, why sir. Hamza trusts Muhammad. Today, so, no. Hamza, I will go back and forth with you. Raise your objection about Paul, and I will raise mine about Muhammad. Wait, that's not. Oh, sorry. There you go. Wait, Hamza, are you running again? Hamza, one second ago, you were yelling at my friend right here. You, you, were, you were yelling at him and flailing your arms. I'm right here. But Hamza, why do you keep running? Hamza, if I was scared, I would run and flail my arms like you do. But why do you keep running? Every time I, I was right there and you ran, I'm here again and you're still running. Hamza, if you want to be theatrical, I will hear you. And when I hear you, Hamza, I will come at you. All right. I handle it up. Life. Um, a number of Muslimo ladies with kids have said that you are yelling at their kids in the store, Hamza. Why are you doing this? <laughs> yes, because we should respect our Muslims, right? Men are the guardians and protectors of women. Are we guarding and protecting them when we're yelling at them and their kids? Allah, Hamza. If you truly are a Muslim, a Mu'minun, then protect what your right hands might possess. Is, 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 Christian. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Was was, was it spare the rod, spoil the child. You know, you just said I seek refuge. In Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So <laughs> you're saying that what you're doing at your store is the equivalent of sparing the rod. First of all, Hamza, is the child even can yours? The, so you can go there? Yeah, yeah, the child is not even yours. Now, in one of the cases, Hamza, the child happened to be disabled. Hamza, how do you spare the rod on a disabled child? Come on, Hamza. Be better. Like, there's no way that you can run a store and be harassing Muslim women. <laughs> Would you even harass Muslim men in that, in that sense? What happened? It's concerning. Scatter! Scatter! You ran. Scatter. You ran. Scatter. Oh. Okay, let's talk about it now. 
Hamza. Wait, so ha so Hamza, no. he that's ran no. and that's bad. Hamza, you've run from me twice know. today. So are you twice as bad? Hamza, you're almost as bad as Hashim. I mean, Hashim knows he can't debate me, but you, Hamza, you at least try. Hashim knows whom to debate. No, Hashim, you can't debate. And we avoid Hashim, guys like you. You can't debate. You know why? Because you don't know anything. You don't know anything. And you beg for debates every week that you come here. Every week. Again, Hashim, at least, unlike Hamza, when you run, you do it slowly. But Hamza runs fast. Okay. What's the debate again? Hijab admitted the Gala prays. Hey, man. Who does he pray? To Jesus, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Answer the question, who does Allah pray to? Hijab admitted. Are you saying hijab is wrong? Oh.